the molar mass of a volatile liquid. Hi, my name is Anna Blakely, and I'm in chemistry 211. And my name is Emily Schuchagel, and I'm also in general chem 211. Obtain and wear goggles. Conduct this experiment in a well-ventilated area. Trim a piece of aluminum foil so that it just covers the top mm -hmm. of a small test tube. Use a needle to make a small hole in the foil. Use a sensitive balance to measure the mass of the test tube and foil. Right here. Obtain a liquid sample of an unknown volatile compound. Pour about 0.5 milliliters of the liquid into the test tube and quickly cover the test tube with the aluminum foil. From here, we will place the test tube in a hot water bath. Here, the test tube is in a hot water bath. Make sure that the foil is above the water level. Immerse the temperature probe in the hot water bath as shown. Do not allow the tip of the probe to touch the beaker. This will give you a more accurate reading of the water bath temperature. Note that some of your sample will escape the test tube through the needle hole in the foil. This process also serves to flush the air out of the test tube. Keep the test tube in the boiling water bath for at least three minutes until all of the liquid in the test tube has vaporized. Record the temperature of the boiling water bath, which will be used in the ideal gas loss calculation. Quickly transfer the test tube to the ice water bath. Cool the test tube for about one minute. Remove it and dry it completely. Measure the mass of the test tube in the aluminum foil top. Record the room pressure with the barometer. Using the ideal gas law calculations, we will calculate the number of moles using our pressure, volume, constant, and temperature of our data.